How's it going, Savage Life family? It is actually a beautiful day, regardless of this negative $5 that you are currently seeing. Now, I'm going to explain how this is normal, how Ethereum Classic is still looking bullish through some technical analysis here, and an overall informational video that I'm going to break down on some news that came out today. So, taking a look at Ethereum Classic, it seems we are back at that $58 price point level after all those gains that we had yesterday yesterday it even touched 65 dollars at one point now what that means is that the road is paved for 70 dollars now it's definitely going to hit 70 dollars it's just a matter of when currently and we are cooling off which is good and i'll explain to you why now first things first take a look at bitcoin as you can see we saw a deduction of 1000 $700 off the price of Bitcoin at this $44,000 price point level. Now that was due to multiple factors, but let's go ahead and first take a look at the technical side of things of Ethereum Classic. Uh, it seems we hit a high here of $65.90 for Ethereum Classic which is absolutely beautiful. We broke past our resistance level here at $63, and it would have been a breeze if there wasn't a collection of profits. Now, for those of you who are traders trying to sell and buy back in, keep in mind that when you look at the candlestick charts here, these here are called candlesticks, of course. Now, the sticks are called the shadows, and the green and the red that you are seeing is called the body. Now, when we broke this resistance here, the candlestick was absolutely beautiful, and you want to ride these candlesticks to the top. Now, the next candlestick that showed, it means the bears and the bulls are fighting, and the bears are winning. As you can see, the body decreased drastically, slightly here, and when the body is this thin, it means that the bears are putting up a fight, pounding and slashing down on the bulls, and the next candlestick that showed was this red bodied candlestick now for an example currently as you can see we saw a big giant red candlestick here at 10 o'clock and it indicated a massive sell-off and then after the sell-off we got a bounce right off of the $57.90 price point to a green candlestick showing a lot of bulls are buying at these high $57, $58 price point levels and it's building some strong supports now, yesterday, I was quite concerned that we were going to cross under the 100-day EMA. I was, as it was incredibly close here to crossing over. But as you can see, the 50-day EMA stayed above. So it's just indicating that we are still showing bullish sentiments. And today is just a cool down. You want to see cool downs because when you see a strong ride up, you see a strong drop shortly after and that's what you don't want because it's extremely heart-wrenching when you see a coin or a crypto jump up for example from 50 to 80 dollars in one day and then in a matter of a week just plummet back down to those 50 dollar price point levels that's what we don't want we want to build these strong support levels and the higher we climb and the longer we maintain those levels the better it is for us ethereum classic hodlers Keep in mind that a couple weeks ago we were sitting at those $40 price point levels which was heart wrenching. So as long as Bitcoin maintain these $40,000 levels, I believe it will be overall great for the crypto market and we can return back to this bull run. Now on top of that, the fear and greed index is showing that we're still at 70. For the past two days we've been at 70 and that's just indicating that the sentiment has not changed we are still showing bullish signs and we are just cooling off for today now the reason bitcoin fell off is because there is a majority of longs betting on bitcoin to hit those fifty thousand dollar price point levels and we saw some liquidations as the longs were not expecting today for bitcoin to cool off and that's what happens when you're overly leveraged. Anything could happen. Bitcoin could cool off in a day and you get absolutely wrecked. But on the absolute bright side, it goes to show that the bulls are winning because ever since August 4th here, on August 5th, we had shorts get liquidated by 219 million. August 6th, 400 million. And then August 7th, we had a cool down. Now, after the cool down, we had 
four straight days of bullish momentum where we saw shorts get liquidated more than longs here and then another cool down here on august 12th so i predict that august 12th when this liquidation chart is showed there's going to be more longs liquidated than shorts as to why we saw a four percent drop today now overall the cryptocurrency volume is absolutely great regardless of the sell-off that we saw we're seeing 4 billion in volume, but it's more towards the downside as we're seeing plenty of selling. But as long as we maintain that volume, whether it be on the selling side or the upside, all we need is some bullish news to turn this completely around. So let's go ahead and hop into some crypto news because there is a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. And we're going to talk about this first news here, which is the Iran's tax authority wants to legalize crypto exchanges overall great news now now they came out with a proposal and the proposal said tax on capital gains fixed base tax and occupational tax are the three tax regimes on crypto trading platforms proposed by the INTA which is short for the Iranian National Tax Administration. Though the proposal does not specify the mechanisms for taxing crypto businesses once they do, it should provide big news. Now, taxing mechanisms for an example could be how the US is trying to have every brokerage report transactions over $10,000 to the IRS. That is one mechanism the INTA could use, but let's hope not as it's currently causing a bit of mayhem here in the United States of America. Now, on top of this, we have an investment firm with over 18 billion dollars in assets under custody named choice announced the launch of their new ios app that allows all users to invest in bitcoin tax-free which is absolutely phenomenal now choice wanted to take this tax-free investment vehicle and ira right to their customers by giving individuals the opportunity to invest directly through their ira now, for those of you who don't know, an IRA is an individual retirement account that provides tax advantages for retirement savings. You simply make contributions with money you may be able to deduct on your tax return, and any earnings can potentially grow tax deferred until you withdraw them in retirement. Now, personally, I don't have an IRA or a 401k for those of you asking due to reasons being. I like to handle every single penny I have to my name. There is nothing absolutely wrong with having an IRA or 401k. It's just the type of person I am individually. I like knowing where my money is going and I'm accountable for all of my actions. Not to mention generally early withdrawal from an individual retirement account prior to the age of 59 is subject to being included in gross income plus a 10% additional tax penalty. So that simply means if you plan on withdrawing your money prior to the age of 59, you will be penalized. Now, keep in mind, retirement age as well in the US is roughly around 65 to 67 years of age. On top of that, approximately one in three people in the United States between the ages of 65 and 74 have hearing loss. Being in the early to mid 40s, many adults may start to have problems seeing clearly at close distances, especially when reading and working on the computer. And to top it all off, the average life expectancy for the United States is 78 years of age as of 2014. So taking absolutely all of that into consideration, I choose it's my responsibility to create financial freedom on my own terms. So last thing I wanted to mention is to stay tuned for some upcoming videos. I'm currently working on what crypto punks are, how you can get into NFT, and if it will become a profitable thing in the future, as well as this new coin. I've been reading the white paper. I'm, I'm currently on page 13, but I'm slightly taking my time. It is ticker symbol ACH, short for alchemy here. And Saturday, I will be releasing my interview that's going to be done with Donald McIntyre regarding the implementation of the treasury system in Ethereum Classic. 
So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like as it massively helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. See ya.